What's up guys? It's time to find out where my water leak's coming from. <laughs> Alright guys, so I have a water leak. I have been screaming about this water leak for God knows how long. And, uh, well, I've only been in the camper for uh, three weeks. So I've been screaming about it for three weeks. <laughs> but um, today I'm going to find out, see if I can figure out where this leak is coming from. Um, if you look down in here, well, first thing is first. Uh, this is the, an access panel that somebody so graciously cut into the side of this uh, paneling here. Um, and this is the air conditioner right here excuse me this is the uh, refrigerator right here that you see and uh, assembled wiring uh, as you can see right here is a dirt dauber's nest I have been cleaning out a lot of those here lately so we'll just kind of uh, break it off of there as you can see okay we got the dirt dauber's nest out now what I'm going to try to do now is just look on the bottom down here because what's happening is you turn that water on. Now these are all electrical lines here. This is an electrical line. This is electrics. What's happening is water starts to come from here. Now. I don't see any piping or anything that would cause that. Um, all this in here is electrical, and if there's an electrical leak in here, that's a bad thing. So what I'm going to do is turn the water. Oh, wait a minute here. Wait a minute here. We got some. We got some hosing here. Water hosing. Okay, that is a good sign. And there's water hosing there. Alright. And there's some water hoses down there, as you can see. Right down there. So let me see if I can move this uh, power cable out the way so I can get a better view here. All right, guys, so let me tell you what I figured out here. As far as the lines, I was trying to trace the lines. These two lines that you see right here, these two right here, are the lines that are going to our shower, okay? There are two lines at the bottom down there, okay, going that way. Those two lines go that way to uh, a T, which goes hot and cold to the sink in the kitchen. And then the other sides of those two lines, one goes to the water pump and one goes to the water tank. Okay? My clean water tank. There are two sides of the T over here at the bottom down here, which go under, under the actual uh, uh, floor here, that go all the way around and they come out here to the kitchen sink. And that's these two lines right here, hot and cold. Okay? Now let me show you here under the kitchen sink. That was a bathroom sink I just showed you. Under the kitchen sink here, you see the tea, hot and cold, that go up to the kitchen sink here, all the way up to the faucets. And then you see one line that goes to the water pump right here, and the other line goes to the water tank. That's my water tank, I'm assuming. Yes. Now there's another line at the bottom down there that comes out of the water tank and connects to the water pump. Now I don't think I need the water pump when I'm hooked up to uh, electricity and full hookups at an RV park. 
but that's where everything traces. So the next step now is to figure out where the leak is coming from. So uh, let me go turn on the water outside and I'll show you. All right guys, so we're outside the, uh, the camper and this is the outlet here that goes in to the RV, okay? The leak is right here and you'll see it when I turn the water on and connect it. So let me go ahead and connect the water hose here and uh, turn it on. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly turn on the water. I'm gonna show you where it's leaking from. Then we're gonna run inside and see if we can't figure out uh, where the leak is coming from, okay? So let me turn on the water. We'll blast here. Come over here. time before we start seeing the, the water start leaking out here. Focus here. There it is. So let's go inside. See the leak? It's right there. It's at the shower head. So what happens is that leaks down Let's see if I can get that on camera there it is that's our leak guys make sure it's that freaking yep that's what it is all right let me uh go turn the water off Alright guys, so as you've seen, found the leak. I'm actually happy that the leak is where it's at um, and not anywhere else like under the camper or like under the anywhere else in here. Um, because this actually goes under and around and all that good stuff. But anyway, so it looks like the main leak is on the hot water, um, but it looks like it's also leaking from the cold water too. So that's where it's coming from. The problem that I have is accessing these guys up here. As you can see, there's not a lot of room to move in here. All right, guys. You see the faucets over there. But this little stupid thing here is getting in my way. And I almost just want to rip it out of the damn wood because it's almost coming out of the wood anyway. But I'm going to end up cutting that thing, get it out my way, swing it over so I can have some wiggle room to get over here and take these pipes off over here. Alright. Okay. So, I got it out of my way as you can see. No longer there. Just a stupid clip. And I can probably move it back over there. But what I need to do now is to get that black fitting off of there and try to disconnect this hosing from here because uh, and then I could swing the cables this way and replace them and then I just have to put them back on but that's what it is it's leaking around the gasket right there and around the, the black cap right there so let's see if I can get that off of there okay so after much fighting <laughs> I got the cold water side off which now leaves a little room for me to get over there and get the uh, uh, the hot water on 
or off. Uh, so that's good. So I think the problem is I want to say I want to replace that whole this whole part right here. Um, can't really go up any higher because of the way this is work the way this is uh, connected here. You know, I could go a little higher and cut off a little bit of cable, but I don't want to go too far because this cable was not made long enough to do any extensions. So uh, I'm thinking I should replace this whole piece and this gasket here. Uh, or just tighten it down really, really, really good. But I think the problem is part partially here. Um, so I'm just going to, I got this out. I'm going to try to get the hot water off. I'm going to mark what line is what line. Because it doesn't actually say on it. That way I'll know what the cold goes to cold, hot goes to hot. And I know that the hot is the furthest one to my left. And the closest one to me is the cold. So, getting there guys, getting there, but I think the problem lies here in this build up here. So, let's see what we can do. Alright guys, so this is the hot water side. After much toil and toil, I got the hot water off and I found where the problem is. Um, let me zoom in and see if I can show you real quick. There is a break in the pipe right there. See the middle of the pipe right here? See that little break? Right there guys. That is enough to cause an issue with leakage and all the way through. So alrighty guys so there's our two culprits. So here is the options that I have. And it's probably the one that I'm going to take is I'm gonna to have to replace the ends of these two of both of these right here um, it's gonna be a nightmare trying to get that pipe back in here but uh, I'm gonna to have to replace the elbows for both of these and put new clamps on each one of them and uh, the gasket which this came off of the hot water side the one that was leaking real bad seems to be shot to hell and I didn't even see a gasket for the cold side, so I don't even know how the hell that wasn't leaking to hell and back too. Uh, so there's a crack in this one here, and I'm just going to replace this one. I think it's it's slightly leaking because it's just age. I would cut it, but the problem is is that these pipes are cut to length. So the second option is to replace the entire pipes, which they are right up under the bathtub here and I'd have to take this railing off this side and then take this board off to access that and that's not something I want to do um, because I it's not something I want to do so that's gonna be my option I'm gonna take this off and uh, this and then I'm gonna take this off and uh, put a new clamp on each one and put new ends on these guys with new gaskets tie them back on there turn the water back on and we'll see if that fixes the problem hopefully all right guys uh till then see you when i get ready to do that it's your boy